Hello, James here from Actura Technology and Chimp Rewriter, and this is a quick video on the synonym selector and how you can use it. So the synonym selector is this panel over here on the left hand side that's visible as soon as you start Chimp Rewriter and open an article. This article I've got open here has come directly from the PLR article pack that we provide with pro versions of Chimp Rewriter. It's got about six and a half thousand articles in it. And this is just one I've picked at random. So the basics of it are when you click a word, you get a bunch of synonyms that you can choose to replace. So in this case, I've got a lot selected. So we can see that lot is displayed at the top, which is the original word. We've got some controls, some toolbars, and a whole bunch of synonyms. So if we change to different words, we can, use, we can just click on new ones. We can use uh, backwards and forwards. We'll have the new word displayed here and new synonyms. Another option is to hold Alt and press left and right. This will actually select the next available word or phrase that has synonyms. For example, if I move across here, when I get to depend on, that is a phrase, so it has highlighted the phrase rather than just the word depend. But if you press it again, we've highlight depend, then on, and so on. So when you have a list of synonyms displayed, we have a few things to note here. The first on the left is the quality rating. The more the bananas, the higher the quality of the synonym. So as you can see, we've got the highest qualities towards the top, filtered down to the lower qualities at the bottom. These are determined by usage statistics across 15,000 users of Chimp Rewriter. The next icon, the star, is the favorite icon. Clicking this will mean you really like this synonym and it will bring it to the top. For example, if we click there on draw, we've brought it to the top and it's now a favorite. Clicking it again, we'll set it back to how it was before. The third icon is part of speech which is the engine that Chimp Rewriter uses to determine the best synonyms. For example, bunch has been detected as a noun. This is also shown up here, meaning that lot has also been detected as a noun, which means nouns will be our preferable replacement for this word. And if you find a word in here that you don't like, let's say dealership, we right click on that and we hate it and that will make it disappear and it will not be shown again in your results. So what do we do when we want to add and remove synonyms? So we've still got lot selected. Let's say we want good deal, great deal, and a whole lot. These are all good synonyms that fit in this instance. So we just click them and they've been added to the text. If we click one that we don't like and we decide we don't want it, we just click off it and it will disappear. Another way to do this is to use Alt and right as we talked about before, and then you can use the down arrows to select a synonym and then press spacebar to insert it. Alt right, depend on, count on. Also, if there's a word that you want to add that you can't find in this list, you just type it in here, even if they're made up words. Finally, the last part of this list you've got here is the synonym groups, which is the item you can see at the top. These are displayed when there is multiple synonyms of the same part of speech of the same quality. So in this example, we've got bunch, good deal, great deal, etc. So for this one, we can click here and we've instantly added three good synonyms to this word. The same applies with successful. We can click this and just like that, we've got four synonyms here and three synonyms here that we've added with minimal effort. Now onto the tools across the top. Firstly, we have spin all. What this does is spins every instance of that word in this article. For example, we've got visitors here, and visitors here, and here, and here. They're all through the article. So if we activate spin all, and we click on site visitors, now all of these instances have been spun. If we undo that, and spin one of these, there's another option under here called only spin unspun words. So if we activate that with spin all on, we notice that I've added an, a word to this one already. So if I pick this, this time this one does not get spun. That is what this option here does. Next, we have replace. This is similar to spin. Instead, when we replace, it doesn't add the spin tax, it just 
flat replaces that word. So instead of visitors, we pick customers and it's changed the word to customers. And just like spin all, we have replace all. And again, if we click visitors and pick site vi or customers for this time, all the instances have been changed to customers. The next button is force lowercase synonyms. In the case where you have synonyms in the list that are capitalized and you don't think they should be, for example, we have get going with here. If you did not want that to have a capital, you would press that and it no longer has a capital. The next set of options become available when you select a word that has synonyms already. So in this example, if we add site visitors, we have two synonyms for the original word. Now there's a few options we've got here. We can create a spin group, which means it will create a new group from the two synonyms that we have used in this case. And that will be displayed every time you click on visitors somewhere else, which you can see right here. Further to that, we can favorite all of the synonyms in this list. Or we can hate them, which will remove them all from this list. This button here, remove original word, is used when you want a highly unique article and you want to completely remove the chance of the original word, in this case visitors, showing up in results. So if we click this and we click remove original word, we are only left with the two alternatives. And the last button on the right removes all synonyms from the current word. The final option we haven't covered is add blank synonym. This is used when there is an optional word in a sentence. For example, we could say that the credibility issue just melts away. We could also say the issue just melts away. So if we add a blank synonym, sometimes the spin engine will spin with credibility and sometimes it will be blank. You can also use this for optional phrases. So let's say keep an online journal or more commonly known as a blog and keep it updated. So we don't necessarily need on your site. And that's everything for the synonym selector. So we'll close this video and I'll see you next time.